Hey guys, backwards and backwards here. <laughs> so we are in Carabelle and it's just perfect weather. I don't know if, I mean, you hear else kind of pan around here. It's just, it's probably 68 to 70. I'm just down here by the marina and uh, start organizing for the trip. I, um, you know, when I left Michigan, I just kind of threw a bunch of stuff in the back of the truck and threw a bunch of stuff in the, in the, the vagabond here. But, you know, it was just so cold and so windy and I just wasn't able to organize it. So I spent the whole day here today just hanging out slowly, putting stuff, you know, you always feel so much better when you can just kind of get an idea of what you have, everything in its proper place, you know, it, it clears, if you want to try to clear your head, you know, try to clear your environment, you know, is, is, the, is kind of the theory on it, you probably already know that, so, so yeah, guys, how about if I just turn the phone around, and I'm going to show you around for a minute, and just kind of explain to you what's going on. Hey guys, that was uh, it's my first morning here in Carabelle, and I'm organizing the. Still trying to find a name for it. I guess the uh, the Beagle Vagabond. We'll go with that until we find another one. But I met this nice young man named Justin here, who you wouldn't believe what he's doing. He's riding his skateboard. Um, how many miles would you say you're gonna do? I think it's like a little over a thousand, something like that. Over a thousand miles. Starting where and kind of ending up where? I started in Pensacola six days ago. Uh, it's like a 130 miles from here. And I'm going to end up in Key West, the bottom of the state. Should take me like maybe a month and a half or so, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Here, we'll take a peek at this board here, guys. Kind of looks like a yeah. special board. Yeah, my friend um, made this board for me for the trip. I've been riding a different board that he had made that was a little longer and heavier. But he made this one with like the holes in it, so it helps rainwater drain out and um, makes it lighter, which I didn't think would matter that much. But when I'm carrying it, when like the roads are really bad, uh, like I've already walked like 10 miles just because the roads are bad, and it helps like you know like two pounds off or whatever. And then um, my backpack is just like the whole trip is self-supported, so I just have like a tent and sleeping bag, sleeping pad, like everything I need to just kind of sleep for the night, um, like food bag, um, not much else really, water, that's it, like okay. nothing extra, just really keeping it light so that I can do big days and um, like get to the next town and just kind of go town to town. Yeah. Yeah, it's been fun though, I mean it's been nice just meeting people like you and pups like Wavy, because um, it's, you know, it's a slow way to travel like compared to driving, which is still pretty slow and you get to see a lot, like you're really just kind of out there and hanging out and just, you know, out in the open. So you get to meet a lot of cool people and yeah. see cool stuff. Yeah, kind of like walking or it's kind of in between walking and bicycling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when the road's good, it's it's real nice. When the road's bad, it's not as nice. <laughs> My mood is very dependent on, like, pace and quality. <laughs> but, um, All right, well, thanks, Justin. Yeah, thanks, Brent. So Carabelle is a place that I, when I do come down to Florida, I kind of, you know, aim for. It's just such a mellow place to, you know, regroup and recover from the, from the trip. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Warming the bike up here, making sure the battery's charged. We're going to have an adventure on that here sometime in the next few weeks. I actually left the keys and the ignition all the way down here. So stupid. Oh, but uh, yeah, I uh, I don't know, guys. I have a um, I got a new carrier for the front here. It's all aluminum and it weighs, man, probably a third of what my big steel one does. Because um, I just want to save the suspension on my truck. I've been doing a bunch of work to it. It just turned 300 and oh shoot, probably 305,000 miles now. Other than just, you know, what I call wearables and basic maintenance, it just keeps going and going. It's just checked the oil this morning and 
you know, 1,000, 1,200 miles down here and didn't use a drop of oil. So those Toyota Tundras, I'll tell you, other than a few little design flaws there, they will go and go. And wavy gravy's loving the, the sun, aren't you? Just hanging out. Gonna go for a walk here in a little bit. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're over here in Apalachicola today. I was kind of tinkering with the boat and the sun, and. Uh, I'm going to jump on the scooter here with Wavy and we're going to go up the river a little bit and see if there's an abandoned dock that I have found a couple years ago and <clears throat> it's a great place to kind of jump in the river, get cleaned up and you know decide what you're going to do next. So come along. I'm going to go for a scooter ride. Ready? All right, she started. Wavy, the dock's still here. Okay, guys, so my little, I say my, <laughs> my little dock uh, that juts out onto the Apalachicola River is still here, though it's kind of looking in bad shape. I'll turn the phone around in a minute and show you guys. <laughs> But uh, I found this spot like probably three years ago. I was in Apalachicola, obviously, and riding my little scooter around. I think I had a Zuma at that time. And and I somehow came, you know, just kind of trying to follow the river up as much as I could on the side here. And I found a little trail. And I was looking off in the trees and, you know, here's this little dock. It's like an abandoned dock. I don't know what the story is. And I've come back here a couple times. One time I had a truck go by and a guy just stopped and asked what I was doing. And I said, oh, I'm just hanging out. And he's like, okay. And he just kept rolling along. I don't think it was his dock. I mean, it really can't belong to anybody because it's just out here in the middle of nowhere. But someone built it at some time. But it looks like it's been flooded out and it's, you know, kind of getting rickety. I can actually move it around <laughs> here with my body. <laughs> but I kind of figure if I fall off of it, I'm just going to go in the river. So, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so... It's, I mean, local standards, it's probably a cold day, but, you know, 55, I'd say. But I'm out here in my shorts and flip-flops and T-shirt, and I'm loving it because it feels great to me. So, um, you know, let me turn the phone around, guys. I'll just show you for a minute. All right. Well, I told you it was kind of rickety, and just as I was getting up, my foot went through, the, through there. <laughs> so I'm just going to walk on the beams here. This section of the dock is actually pretty pretty sturdy I can tell it's you know even though I probably need to stay on the beams here but the uh, the dock you know the section that comes in off of the trail it's pretty bad shape I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to come and hang out here but yeah I was trying to remember you know when I found this little spot and it must have been about I don't know maybe even five years ago because I think it was right it was the year I got wavy, 2016, 17 maybe. Well, 16 is when I got her, but she was just a pup, and we'd come out here, and I remember having to put her leash just like that, kind of stick it in a crack. So, But yeah, here's the beautiful Apalachicola River. I remember that little beach over there. And if you keep going down, I don't know, I'd guess about... Five, six, seven miles, you'll get to Apalachicola proper. Beautiful. It's calm, quiet. I came by here in the Shanty Beagle, too, that, uh, that winter that I did the trip. All right. Well, I guess the beer of this video is Oyster City, made in Apalachicola. Tate's Hell. Tate's Hells. Let's give it a try. <laughs> 